In this video, we'll discover about how to build a resilient spirit. Now that you have a good grasp of the benefits and disadvantages of standing up during tough times, it's time to discuss how you can build a resilient spirit. The tips below will help you in this regard. See every challenge as an opportunity. The difference between people who stand strong when facing challenges and those who break down is their perception. The person withering away due to the situation feels there is no way out again. He or she feels things can never get better. Such people are fixated on what they have lost and find it difficult to imagine starting all over again after the effort they have put in initially. However, resilient people look on the bright side. They see the experience as a learning curve and are willing to start all over again. They aren't happy about the situation. Nonetheless, they know that they will be better off by forging ahead. They know that they will not gain anything by wailing and complaining. They understand that complaining and sulking will only make things worse. So they choose to see the unpleasant experience as an opportunity to be better prepared for future incidents. Failure doesn't mean you aren't good enough. Rather, it shows that you might not have been prepared enough or the situation is just out of your control. So, if you want to build a resilient spirit, you have to see setbacks as opportunities to grow and learn. You need to start seeing adversity as a trainer that has come to make you mentally stronger and better prepared for the future. Always learn from your past. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Albert Einstein Whoever doesn't learn from the past is not smart. Such a person is wasting valuable experiences that are supposed to make him or her better. It might sound strange that some people don't learn from their mistakes. One of the reasons some people make the same mistakes is that they feel their past errors were just coincidental. So they feel things will be different if they stick to their guns. Indeed, there is a place for sticking to your guns when you believe in the process. However, you should have a better and advanced version of the original approach that failed. The fact that a process didn't work out doesn't mean you need a complete overhauling. You might only need to tweak your approach a little to increase your chances of getting the right result. Just like the advice of Einstein, you cannot afford to stop growing and learning. A crucial part of your learning process is your past. Your past contains both the sweet and bitter experiences that have shown you better ways of doing things. You should leverage them to build a resilient spirit when facing challenging moments. Reduce your expectations. One of the reasons people get disappointed in life is that they have heightened expectations. There's nothing wrong with having desires you hope will be met. You can't expect to have a fantastic marital relationship. In the same way, you can crave your dream job. You need such desires so that you can pursue them as much as possible. However, you shouldn't see these goals as do-or-die affairs. In other words, if your relationship or even marriage doesn't work out as planned, remember J.K. Rowling. She's a good example of how a failed marriage shouldn't be the end of your life. Indeed, we cannot deny that it is a situation that can be emotionally devastating. After all, in an ideal case, people marry because they are in love and hope to spend the rest of their lives in the loving arms of each other. So when things go awry, it can be psychologically tasking. Nonetheless, you have to move on. Believe the best about your family, spouse, job, and every other aspect of your life. However, you shouldn't expect that nothing can go wrong. No one wants something bad to happen. However, you should have it somewhere in your mind that things might not go as planned. When you have this moderate expectation, you will find it easier to recover in case things go bad. Be optimistic. Despite the volatile and unpredictable nature of life, we cannot do without hope. We need optimism to go through life. Optimism is a positive expectation regarding certain things. You need to be positive during the days when things are rosy and pleasant. You shouldn't be fearful that something bad will happen that will turn your world upside down, even though that possibility cannot be ruled out. However, you shouldn't be making predictions of doom about any aspect of your life. This practice is tantamount to making a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's too negative, and you shouldn't engage in such limiting behavior. Moreover, the best time you need to be optimistic is after a major setback. You need to convince yourself that you can still live a happy and fulfilled life, despite the unfortunate occurrence. People take their lives when they get to that point of hopelessness, where they feel that their lives aren't worth living anymore. You should guide against that. Don't just think optimistically. You should also write and speak optimism. Say it loud to yourself after a setback that you are coming back better and stronger. Take life one step at a time. You cannot afford to live your life based on the pace of the modern world. If you do so, you'll be overwhelmed with stress and pressure. You should take things slowly. When you are in a hurry to succeed, you'll struggle to recover when you face turbulent times. 
you'll feel that you're wasting valuable time. That will lead to frustration. The most important thing is that you shouldn't be stagnant. As long as you are making progress, regardless of how little it seems, you should be satisfied with your life. Of course, if you find ways to accelerate your progress, you should take advantage of them. However, you should avoid desperation to get to the top because it can leave you with scars that will never heal. Don't be too competitive. Avoid unnecessary comparisons with others. Focus on yourself and the progress you are making. The only reason you shouldn't be happy with yourself is when you are not making progress personally. Don't measure your success by what others have achieved. It's crucial that you take things slowly, especially after a setback. Pick up yourself, walk, and then run again. Be flexible. There are times you need to be rigid. You need to stick to your gun sometimes because there are many people out there who feel you cannot succeed unless you dance to their tune and use their approach. However, the truth is that there is no formula for success in life. People use different techniques to achieve a level of success in different endeavors in life. So you should have a strategy and believe it will work. It's always better to do something the way you want it and fail rather than follow a person's recommendation and fail. The latter hurts more. So don't allow people to throw you around because they feel their plans are better than yours. Nonetheless, you should be open to advice. You should be able to recognize good counsel and follow it. Find people who are more experienced and have succeeded in that endeavor. Seek their advice and compare it with your plan before drawing an inference. When you have people that can give you the tips you need to improve, it becomes easier to recover from a setback and forge ahead.